this lesson, we're going to calculate the original amount after a percentage change. And the original amount will always be 100%. So we begin with question one, where 60% has an amount of £45. So we're going to work out 100%, which is the original amount. And we're going to use 10% because 10 is a factor of both 60 and 100. So to work out 10%, we divide the 60% by 6. And then to go from 10 to 100, we multiply by 10. So we'll keep this ratio balanced by doing the same to both sides. We'll divide the 45 by 6 and then multiply that by 10. So 45 divided by 6 is 7.5. And then 7.5 multiplied by 10. And that would be 75. So 60% represents £45, so the original amount, 100%, is equal to £75. For question two, 90% represents £180. So we'll put the 90 in the percentage column and 180 in the amount. And we're trying to work out 100%, and 10 is a factor of both 90 and 100. So we'll divide 90 by 9 to make 10, and then we'll multiply 10 by 10 to make 100. So we'll do the same to both sides, we'll divide it by 9, and then we'll multiply that answer by 10. So we're going to work out the amount for 10%, which is 180 divided by 9. So 10% is worth 20, then we'll multiply that by 10 to work out 100%, and that is 200. So 100% represents 200, which means 200 is the original amount. For question three, 32% represents 25 pounds 60. We're going to work out the original, which is 100%. Now in this example, we're going to go via 1%, by dividing 32 by itself, and then we'll multiply that by 100. So we'll do the same for both sides, 25.6 divided by 32, and then multiply by 100. So 25.6 divided by 32 works out as 0.8. So that means 1% represents 0.8 pounds. 100% would be 0.8 multiplied by 100. So the original amount of 100% is worth 80 pound. For question four, 140% represents 42 pounds 28. Now, 10 is a factor of both 140 and 100. So we'll work out the value of 10% by dividing by 14 and then 100 by multiplying by 10. So 42.28 divided by 14, and then multiply that by 10. So we can work out the value of 10%, which is going to be 3.02. And then 3.02 multiplied by 10 for 100% is going to be 30.2. So the original amount, 100%, at a value of 30 pounds, 20 pence. So for question five, in a sale, a shirt is reduced to 25 pound after a 12% discount. This means we're going to subtract 12% from the original 100%. So the 25 pound actually represents 88% of the original cost. We can work out 1% and then 100%. So we'll do 88 divided by 88 to make 1. And then 1, then one multiplied by 100 to make 100%. And we'll do the same to both sides. So 25 divided by 88. And then we'll multiply that by 100. So 25 divided by 88 is 0 0.2. Eight, four, one. I'm multiplying that by 100 
is 28.41. So the original cost, 100%, is £28.41. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful.